Hi, it's Saturday, October the 23rd, and this is the Daily Word. I'm Father John Barry. Back on my clerics again. Sometimes I record lay shirt because I'm uh, recording late at night. Uh, so here we go. I'm looking at St. John of Capistrano as the optional memorial. And I'm looking at the collect for him today. Let's pray it. O God, who raised up St. John of Capistrano to comfort your faithful people in tribulation, place us, we pray, under your safe protection and keep your church in everlasting peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay. And the Gospel, Luke 13. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. He said to them, reply, do you think that because these Galileans were suffered in this way that they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you did not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or of those 18 people who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you... Do not repent, you will all perish as they did. The Gospel of the Lord. I got in my hands here a newspaper, and I was just thinking the Gospel today, Jesus talking about a an event that happened that people said, why did that happen? Those 18 people that got crushed by the tower, you know? And Jesus is like, well, they didn't deserve it. It was not like God has lightning bolts or you know, towers falling or sickness coming just to punish people. It's a bad view of God, you know, but he's saying every day, you know, whatever happens, are you in a condition in your soul where you're right with God or not? And that's my big point, Jesus is saying. Now, it's just looking at, you know, headlines and papers, and it was talking about over 700,000 have succumbed in death to the coronavirus about the population of dc and it's talking about hospital admissions nationwide you know um presently and where the spikes are you know in our country and also problems in the world and our questions about children what do we know about protecting children and the problem is we don't know. There's just a lot of question marks still with this whole coronavirus issue. So we plug along. And uh, and there's other things going on in the world, like the, the migrant problem. It says an underage migrant smuggler at the crossroads. And so people sneaking in with drugs and sneaking in with all kinds of malcontent, bad, bad plans and uh, the issues that we have going on at the border that are not not getting solved and and the difference of open borders closed borders but we got a crisis and we got people down there whether they're uh you know aliens or whether they're res you know u.s residents of so people are still people and we just just worry about people who are suffering and and what this world has done and how difficult things get. So, but uh, I'm praying for uh, for everything I'm reading in this paper today. And Jesus, I think, was doing the same in the gospel.